The Lawndale Art Center. Here we will explore the works of artist Michael Menchaca, whose work focuses on the incorporation of technology and its impact on our society. His art was inspired from the ancient Aztecs, his environment in South Texas with the struggles of immigration and dry drug cartels. The art pieces express how Silicon Valley's complexity and surveillance and racial capitalism affects the modern generations and our future. Here we take a look at the wallpaper. You'll notice it's from the base of the floor to the top of the ceiling, and its small symbols represent things like Facebook and Twitter. Here we see more pieces from Manchaca that include representations of the Aztec culture in the modern era. His famous painting, Guardian of the Equality in the Latin X Chilling Effect, is represented here. After seeing works from Manchaca, Jada decided to head over to the Asian Society Museum. They were having a event night and many people were there, so it was difficult to take a video. She said she enjoyed it very much as though there were vendors and other food trucks there to immerse her into the culture. Here we'll take a look at some of the works represented by the culture. Tisiria Koki artworks are inspired by the late 18th century kabuku prints by the well-known Sharuka in Japan. Koki uses special textured paper to express the strong emotions of his figures and feelings of the kabuki actors.
this image here, Jada mentioned it was her favorite out of all of them, because before reading the description, her attitude is expressed as not bothered and seems to be nonchalant, with the true meaning behind her face is a sense of brokenness from someone she loved, and in a way it seems as though she has lost her soul with the pale colors Kiyoki decides to use. Next we will follow Isela as she goes to the Moody Center for Arts at Rice University. Here we see James Terrell's Twilight Epiphany Sky Space. Walking in, you can see a big screen with a projection of movements of the moon on it. These are described as lunar soundscapes by artist Rachel Rose. After reviewing what was Lunar Soundscapes, Isela moved on to the Brown Foundation Gallery, where we got to see works of the exhibit Moonshot by Matthew Ritchie. These works of art here were inspired by the moon and lunar landings. After Isela's visit, we follow Nick and Zay to the Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art. Mm -hmm. 
Here we will explore the works of Nari Ward, who uses his Jamaican background and the upbringing he had in the Harlem area to represent new ideas of struggle and individualism. Ward uses recycled materials to build his works of art. He describes it as a recycled material already has a life and a story. So whenever he puts it into his work, his work has meaning. Many of Ward's works signify the struggle of immigration, while some can be left in open to interpretation. All in all, Ward's exhibit is definitely one to visit. 